Hey everybody, you ever wanted to try and break out of that old routine? Just try something a little bit different on, a, on an old theme? Well today, I'm gonna to try some chicken wings, uh, but not just any chicken wings. We're gonna go and go after the chicken wings that won Memphis in May. I saw How to Barbecue Right podcast and they were on there talking about these hot honey gold wings. And I've gotta try this recipe out on the Weber kettle. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl, see what it tastes like. To start, we need to section these wings. I buy my wings whole and break them down at home. I found that not only does this save a couple of dollars, but the amount of meat on the wing is more than the pre-sectioned ones that you can buy. Our goal here is to take the little flappy wing off and then find a joint where you can cut between the drumette and the flat. This takes practice and time, but after a while, it isn't too hard and you won't be looking back once you've started. Once those are done, we're going to pat dry our wings and take all the moisture off of them, both sides. We're going to find some type of spray. Today I'm going to use canola oil. You can use whatever you want, vegetable oil, avocado oil, olive oil, whatever. This should help the skin not get too rubbery through the cook. Now it's time to season the wings. For our seasonings, I'm using White Lightning from Boar's Night Out, which is an all-purpose type rub. I'm also using the barbecue rub from Killer Hogs. The actual re recipe calls for the hot barbecue rub from Killer Hogs. I don't really have that, so I'll cheat and use a little cayenne pepper with this uh, uh, barbecue rub from Killer Hogs. Hopefully that kind of uh, gets the job done. One of these days, I'll buy that hot barbecue rub and make these wings in earnest. Once the coals are ready, we're going to use a two-zone setup. I like to put the coals on the side away from my handle, and the food will be on the side uh, closest to the handle. This indirect cooking setup will allow the wings to be a nice, warm environment without cooking too fast from direct contact with the fire. Oh, and I'm also using pecan and apple wood chunks uh, in this cook. Since it's been a while since I've cooked on this grill, I need to go ahead and clean the grates off with my wire brush. Once I've done that, I'll come back across the grates with half an onion. This is mainly to season the grates, giving a little bit of a coating, but also it might provide a little extra flavor to the wings. I, I don't know, probably not, but you can't say it doesn't. We're shooting for a cooking temperature north of 300 degrees, maybe between 300 and 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't want the temperature too low because that's when you're getting into rubbery skin territory. You don't want to be too hot because you want to really allow for this meat to, you know, to get to a good spot. So, you know, 300, 350 is probably a pretty good spot to target. Today is as good as any to continue to put this fireboard spark through its paces. I'll use it to monitor the temperature of the grill throughout the cook and then I'll use it to probe the chicken for tenderness and temperature towards the end of the cook. Once the grill temperature is pretty much locked in, we're going to go ahead and put these down. Uh, we're setting these in here for the first part for about 30 minutes on the first side. So let's go ahead and get all these into the, uh, into the grill. After 30 minutes, we take a peek, and then we just go ahead and flip these over, go on to the next side. I keep trying to see if I can use this pigtail to flip these wings over. It's not really being successful, but I know that it can work and uh, it does a good job of not really smearing all the rubs. So I'm, I'm trying to get better at this. After 30 minutes, let's go ahead and check for temperature. Wow, no, these look really, really nice. 
Um, let's just check to make sure our temperature is good. Okay, we're, we're hitting right at 200. Oh, that's good. Uh, the thing about wings is you, you really want to take them uh, up, up as high as you can. You know, high 190s, 200 degrees. It's at those temperatures that you really get that nice, uh, tender, uh, juicy bite um, with the skin that's nice and crispy, if you will. All right, it's sauce time. I highly recommend watching the video from How to Barbecue Right podcast to see if you can glean more from his description of how to make this than I did. I'll leave a link in the description below. The sauce involves using some Carolina gold sauce. Now, this can be hit or miss in your local grocery store, depending on what part of the country you live in. They recommend using cattle mints, which we don't really have here in my area. But I did have this sauce from Gentry's Barbecue that I ordered a while back, and I really haven't been able to use as much of it as I wanted to. To that mustard sauce base, we add some Worcestershire sauce, Frank's hot sauce, the wing kind, uh, Killer Hog's hot sauce, which I don't have, so I'll use Louisiana hot sauce, and then some spicy honey, which fortunately I do have. Finally, we fold in a little bit of butter. Warm that up, but do not let it come to a boil, and then you're all set. All right, let's sauce these up. Instead of using my brush like I have in the past, I'm gonna to toss these wings in these little take-along containers. We'll do about four to six at a time and pour about a cup worth of sauce in there. Shake them up and then put them back on the grill for a few minutes to let the sauce set. After about five minutes on each side, these wings are done and ready to eat. Well, you gotta let them rest for a few minutes so they can cool off some. All right, so the cook is over. Let's see what we got. Trying out these hot honey gold wings and we'll see, um, see if they live up to their billing. Nice, good, round flavor. I was afraid it was gonna to be too vinegary, too mustardy, but no, it, it actually comes out really nice. There's a good uh, rolling heat to it, not too spicy. Just a really good flavor on wings, as a matter of fact. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different, a little bit um, on the, uh, not not just the Sweet Baby Ray style, I'd kind of give you a recommendation for trying out um, this uh, hot honey gold recipe that's on um, uh, the How to Barbecue Rights podcast channel. All right, for everybody, have a great day. Take it easy. Bye. Well, you made it to the end. You might make it to the end of another one of my videos. Why don't you check one of those out below? Take it easy.